This is how you finalize your artwork to make it pop. Let's first duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Then press right mouse and rasterize layer. Now go to filter, blur and select lens blur. For background we use lens blur. Now here you can set the radius. I have 50 here, 50 will be fine for this photo. Press OK and we have some blur. Now let's make a mask and press D on your keyboard to put the colors to default. Then select the gradient and make sure to click on the mask and then make this line by holding down shift to see where the background blur starts. Next you want to click on the top layer, then create a new layer and drag some image in front of it. I have this leaves PNG file and you can use anything that you want. This just fits the scenery pretty good. So I'm going to place them in front and the only thing I have to do is blur them out. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you can see for the background we're using lens blur and for the foreground I'm using Gaussian blur and something like this will be fine. Just make sure the colors match the background. So I'm going to add a new adjustment layer, select hue and saturation, make sure to press this to only affect the leaves. Let's bring the color a bit down. You can see instantly how this fit this image and let's make sure the colors are right. Now add a color lookup adjustment layer and select tree strip. Bring the opacity a bit down. Now create a new layer, press command alt shift E or ctrl alt shift E on windows, press right mouse, convert to smart object, then go to filter, camera raw filter. Go to basic and make sure you have some settings here to make the image better. Make sure to drop the texture and decrease the clarity to get this nice soft image. Change the lighting and curves. Then go to color mixer and here you can play with the settings of the colors. And this is a really important part to make your final artwork look really cool. Last but not least, go to calibration and try to play with these settings here. Usually you get a really cool result when you try to change these. The last step to make your artwork really pop out is to add the curves adjustment layer and take the highlights and move them a bit to the left so you can see here the lighting changes really cool now. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, I hope you learned something new. Watch one of these videos if you want to learn more. Till then, catch you on the next one.